Hey everyone, I am back with my worms. I've been having issues with my worms just not being able to keep up with all of this material that I've been adding. All of the, let's see here, um, you know, just rotten oranges and potato peels. As you can see, it's definitely worms, but they just can't keep up. And I don't think that they're breeding the way that they were before. And so I just have just this mountain of material, um, cardboard. I mean, you can see that they're, you can see how they've been nibbling on this coffee filter. Um, and there's, this is just so, so full. I've got, um, uh, I mean, underneath of all of this, I have a whole lot that just needs to be filtered out. Um, my, uh, well, my worm bin is just really, really full. You can see this one's about to have a cocoon. Um, so I don't know. I mean, do I add more worms? Um, I mean, they're, they are breeding. <laughs> But, I don't know, I, I have two compost tumblers that are almost ready to be emptied, so then I can start putting more material in those, and that does help. And believe it or not, I do have worms in those as well. I don't know how they can handle the heat, but they handle it. So, I just wanted to make a quick video, because I haven't made a, a video in a while about my worms. And it's, like I said, it's mostly, um, you know, citrus peels, coffee grounds, coffee filters, potato peels, obviously. Let me see if I can dig down a bit here. Um, they do, you know, a lot of people won't put anything acidic in their worm bin, but as you can see, they like it, you know, at least my worms do, I don't know. Um, There's just all this material and not far underneath of that. That's all compost, worm compost. That have been, I mean, they do eat it. It's just, see, more worms. And things that shouldn't be in there. more oranges I just these oranges were starting to dry out so I just uh, made a small hole in each of them and took a little hole straight through if I pop this open there's probably a worm in there but I don't know what do you do whenever you get to the point where I mean do I just filter it I mean do I just Then I would have to, would have to, uh, I mean, I think that's a chopstick. I don't know why that's in there. I mean, it will break down eventually. It's bamboo. But you don't have to dig down very far to, and then it's just probably a good foot and a half cocoon. See the yellow? It's a worm cocoon, that little yellow ball, well, multiple. See, I mean, Definitely lots of cocoons. I don't know. Maybe I'll just quit feeding them for a while. And just kind of turn all this, put the material. Maybe there's just, um, maybe it's too cold. I don't know. But it's probably what I'm going to end up doing. Just kind of turning a bunch of this and uh, putting the worm compost, ver vermicompost, moving a bunch of it to the top, and uh, see all the cocoons? I obviously want those to stay in. A whole bunch of cocoons. 
the next generation. I don't know. This does feel a little bit dry. Maybe that's why they haven't been eating. I mean, they're going for the moist stuff like the like the oranges, the oranges and the orange peels and all of that. Because this is just full of cocoons. Worm. So it's probably what I'm going to end up doing. Just um, moisten this a little bit. Put, uh, you know, bury more of the cardboard and see if you can see over here a little bit. Still have, I don't know if you can see under there, cocoon. And there was a bunch of grapes under there from on the other side. But anyway, just wanted a quick update for you. I am still doing, even though I don't have, don't uh, make my videos very often anymore about my worms, I still definitely feed them. I still have this project going, and I will try to make more updates soon. You have a great day.